Welcome back to the last set here. I will have a post post uh, formal music jam, so stick around for that. But they're back for their second set, all the way from Long Island. Please make them welcome, Buddy, Miriam, and Bad Bro. <laughs> Thank you. 
sure appreciate it. Thanks for staying around for our last set here at the festival. And um, I know it sounds a little bit like new grass because of the drums, but they're not with us. They're with a group down the road a little bit. But uh, we'll do the best we can with that. Um, here's another one off the upcoming mandolin project. This is one I wrote for uh, a bluegrass promoter from New York. His name's Doug Tuckman. And uh, he started the Bluegrass Club in New York way back in the, geez, probably the 70s, I guess it was. And I got to become pretty good friends with him over the years. And uh, oh, the last uh, maybe four years of his life, he started bringing some work into the band and booking the band. And uh, geez, I really appreciated that of uh, Doug. Thought really a lot of him. And then he was on his way to a Del McCurry concert and he passed away. And uh, right when he was starting to book the band, too, I mean, <laughs> I can kid around with him like that, because he used to always kid around with me, so it's legit. Anyway, I wanted to write a tune and uh, add to his memory, call it Friar Tuck, and uh, it sounds like this. <laughs> The Dario String Company from right down there in Long Island. They make all the strings that we're using, and I think they're the best ones out there. So thank you, Dario, wherever you are. Is there anybody from Dario out there? No. They're still the best strings in the world. Introduce you to our uh, bass player once again, uh, 
true bluegrass uh, veteran, a bluegrass entertainer like none other, and uh, and one of the finest singers I think you're ever going to hear, Mr. Ernie Sykes. Whoa, whoa. for a little five-string banjo picking? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Geez, uh, usually when I... Jerry Oland playing the banjo, does Jerry, that make a difference? Let's go. Come on, it's Jerry! Jerry! All right, that's more like it. All right. Here's a... Uh, Jerry's probably his most popular tune that he's written. Uh, he's played it down through the last 30, 35 years everywhere he's played and people just go crazy for it. He's got it on a couple of his CDs that I think he has for sale out here. If any of you don't have it, it's back there on the table with, uh, with our CDs. And there are still some left over there too, so... Um, you know, you want to take a little back road to Jerry Oland with, home with you, that's the best way to do it. He thought this one up all by himself. It's called Minor Accomplishment, featured Jerry Olan and his fancy five. <laughs> Thank you. 
that a minor accomplishment. I think that barking means they like it, Jerry. <laughs> and friends, I know you're looking at Ernie and he looks a little strange there with that, that cap on his head. He, yeah, he sweats a lot. He took his Stetson down there to the cleaners and he didn't get there in time to get it out of the cleaners in time. So that's why he's got the, uh, the chateau. If, sun, if it was better for you because if the sun was shining, you could be blinding anyway. So, you know, just to be safe. Besides, it's a fashion statement. The solar panel for the sex, sex machine. machine. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't believe I'd have told that one, buddy. <laughs> Let's see, let's get Kathy up here to sing one. This is Kathy Devine, the Sound Beach Songbird, singing a little hard out for you. And she picked out a, a real good Kathy Callick tune. Kathy's from uh, out in California, a good friend of mine, great songwriter, a uh, fine singer, and a real good rhythm guitar player, too. Here's one of her tunes, and our own Kathy Devine's going to sing it. Call, call me a taxi. Uh, fellas, that's not quite the tempo we're looking there. That's a little... <laughs> numbers and he, he wrote this gypsy number and it's called Gypsy Tears of Joy. It's kind of like my first marriage. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, along with uh, the hardcore bluegrass, I, I really like the music of uh, Stefan Trapelli and Django Reinhardt and the stuff they did at the Hot Club of uh, France back in the 40s. And I tried to write one in that style, and uh, if you can imagine a big a stage filled with a mandolin orchestra up here, that's kind of what I had in mind when I 
put the first part of this tune together. So I couldn't afford to bring the mandolin orchestra with me today, but uh, we'll just have to use our imaginations on that part. And we'll see what happens when the recording comes out. This is Gypsy Tears of Joy. Gypsy Tears of Joy is the name of that one. Here's one from George Jones. For all the Jones fans, if there's still a few left out there. Let me tell you something about this song. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, anybody was here at the first show, we do a song you may have heard us do before called These Hands. This song was written by the same man that wrote These Hands. Just as a point of reference, this is No These Hands. <laughs> We mean no harm to your planet. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one called No Blues is Good News. I must have done it. It was me when I talked it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Seems like I'm smiling from my head down to my shoes. My baby loves me and no blues is good news. Well, I used to be as lonely as a motherless child. I took every muscle in my body to smile. I got a funny feeling like I ain't never had. I tingle all over and no part of me feels bad. Misery and loneliness I've known before. That makes me appreciate my baby that much more. When I come home, there's kisses, my pipe and my house shoes. My baby loves me and no blues is good news. I tip my hat to children as I go on my way. The sun is shining and it's a warming me too. My baby loves me and no 
and sisters knew. Well, I used to be as lonely as a motherless child. It took every muscle in my body to smile. Got a funny feeling like I ain't never had. I tingle all over and no part of me feels bad. Misery and loneliness I've known before. This makes me appreciate my family that much more. When I come home, there's kisses, my pipe, and my house shoes. My baby loves me, and no blues is good news. My baby loves me, and no blues is good news. Mandolin. Uh, uh, a couple years back now, I guess it's been, um, our banjo player here, our good friend Jerry Oland, he had a really big milestone birthday. Um, it wasn't his 30th, and uh, you know, it, it wasn't his 40th. From there, you're going to have to use your imagination where it goes, but uh, it was a really big birthday, and his, uh, his wife, Faith put on a big, big surprise party for him and everything. And lots of musicians there and everything. And, uh, it was happened in the off season though. We weren't working a whole lot, and I really didn't have a whole lot of money. And boy, I wanted to get him a fantastic present because it was a big birthday and everything. But I didn't have a whole lot of money, so basically I wrote him this tune. I gave him a song, and it's I think it's a good one. It's one of the best ones I ever wrote, and I hope he liked it. He's smiling, so I think he he likes to play it anyway. So uh, we'll play you this one, and I get, we'll... I get all the royalty checks. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Here's one called the Putnam Valley Flash. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good old Buck Owen number for you folks. If there's any buckaroos out there, this one's for you. I'm gonna get love. Here's a pretty number I had a request for earlier today. It's one called When the Grass Grows Over Me. When you left, I thought that I would soon get over you. Even told myself that I could find some. I'll be over you 
when you stand in the opening. As you look down at the cold, cold ground, I'm sleeping. Don't expect to hear me say that I still love you. the grass goes over me. I don't expect to hear me say that I still love you then. For I'll be over you when the grass goes over me. Thank you. That'll be on my next escape. Release. Album. Here's one that uh, I first got to record on my very first bluegrass album. It was uh, one with the Sykes Boys with Ernie's dad. It was called Dixie Bound, a uh, tune he wrote about being homesick for the Blue Ridge Mountains. And um, I think it's just a fantastic bluegrass tune. I couldn't believe that uh, nobody else had come along and recorded this one when we were uh, putting the mystery train together. We'll just coordinate the key there so uh, we all start it in the same place because Ernie can sing it in any key, you know, so we just decide what he's going to do it in tonight. Um, thanks to the Hudson Valley Bluegrass Association, Jeff and everybody for uh, working so hard for this event. We really appreciate you folks. We hope they'll have lots more. We just want to get on, uh, on the line and uh, come on back and play for you again sometime. Got a couple more here. Here's Ernie to sing this one. One call. I've had a beautiful time. No, Dixie Bell. Oh. <laughs> well, we've had a beautiful time too. But I'll do that one. Well, maybe we will. <laughs> we'll do a Dixie Bell. All right, okay. Just point this out and watch me cover the ground. That good old Dixie sunshine's gonna warm my chilly bones. I soon be on my way, I'm Dixie Bell. When across the Mason Dixie line, I'll know I'm headed right. I'll know it can't be very far from there. For soon the Blue Ridge Mountains are gonna come right into sight. And I'll be breathing sweet, fresh mountain air. I'm burning all my bridges, I won't need them anymore. Goodbye, so long. Well, friends, thanks so much for being a really great audience to us. We really do appreciate you being out here for the Bluegrass Show here. 
Uh, all the entertainers were great, and it was really wonderful to hear Sarah on that mandolin too. That was really something. That's Kathy Devine, the Sound Beach Songbird on the guitar. Ernie Sykes, the bass and the vocals. Nice round of applause for Jerry Olan and his fancy five strings. With and Buddy Mariam, the big hat, the big man with the big hat, the little instrument with the big sound. I don't know how you said your name, but... Mr. Buddy Mariam! From Massapequa. <laughs> no, he's not from Massapequa, but I like the way I say Massapequa. <laughs> you can be on the radio. Oh, I can be on TV. <laughs> we had a great time playing for you. We'll close it out with one. Uh, I wrote for a couple young friends of mine, uh, doing real good in the music business. One of them works for Ricky Skaggs. His name's uh, Cody Kilby. And uh, Josh Williams got his own band, uh, played with Rhonda for many years and stuff. But uh, look for the Josh Williams band, they'll really knock out. And uh, a couple young friends of mine, I tried to write a mandolin tune in their style, of the kind of the new modern style of mandolin playing. Did my best, I put all the modern mandolin licks I could all in this one tune, put up there in the key of B, because that's where they play and sing everything these days. And we're going to say uh, good evening with this one. Thanks again for being a great audience. We do have some CDs set up in the back there. If you'd like to take one home, we sure would appreciate it. And hope to see each and every one of you again sometime real soon. Here's Josh and Cody.